Hey, good morning, everybody. So something happened that Sabrina and I did not take in consideration when moving into the RV, and that is that campgrounds in the Northeast area do not stay open all year round. And we are not location independent. Uh, we, we travel for Sabrina's work, and we have to go into places that they need her the most. So what has happened is they need help up here in the Northeast area, and she needs to be a certain amount of miles away from the hospital. And the closest campground that we could find that was open was two and a half hours away from the hospital. And that's not the closest they want us to be. They want us to be much closer than that. We were lucky to find this campground that is even open. So her work is going to pay for a hotel and uh, let her stay right down the street from the hospital, which is great. And the hotel said, hey, if you want to park your RV in our parking lot, you know, there's no charge for that. But the issue is that the temperatures are going down to 20 degrees every night, which is too cold for the RV. And we thought we could winterize the RV, but I don't know. We didn't like that idea either. We're not crazy about the idea that we came up with, and that is that I'm going to stay here in Pittsburgh with the RV. Uh, Sabrina's packing her bags. That doesn't sound right, but she is. She's packing, she's packing her bags, and I'm going to drive her up to the hotel that's right down the street from the hospital. And so... It'll just be Belle and I here at the RV this week. Neither one of us are crazy about this idea. It started snowing last night. I'm gonna go start clearing off the car, get ready. She's gonna finish up packing and uh, we'll hit the road in the car, a little road trip. Quick tip in bad weather, put your steps on auto so that they retract and stay clean. Some of you might remember from our RV tour video that we carry a full set of spare tires for our tow car. We got our snow tires on. You just never know when we're going to need them. All right, let's get to work and get this clean. Car's packed, and here comes Sabrina. Smiling again for the camera. So our Ford C-Max has really worked out to be a great tow car. We've been in the snow a few times with it, and with the snow tires on, it never gets stuck. Granted, we've never been in a crazy amount of snow, but they certainly make a world of a difference. Once on the highway, the roads really were not all that terrible. Most of the trip was on the PA Turnpike, and they did a great job having everything cleared. It was more uh, the ground was just wet than anything else. And the further we got from Pittsburgh, the clearer the roads became. So with the bad weather, it took us a little over two and a half hours to get up here, but it really wasn't all that bad. With the rental packed up, Sabrina is ready to go. She gives a little wave, and off she goes into the sunset. Hey everybody, so I made it back to the RV okay. Made it back before dark. It's just a light snow right now. The drive wasn't all that horrible. The roads were mostly just wet. And... Uh, Sabrina and I already miss each other. It's only been a few hours, but we know the next eight days we're not going to see each other. And we're so used to seeing each other every day. And not just every day, but we spend lots of hours together uh, living this way compared to when we had our apartment where she was working a lot of hours at her hospital. We would see each other just a couple hours a day at best with her new job. We get to spend a lot more hours together. So the fact that we're not going to see each other for eight full days is... Uh, it's pretty extreme for us. At least it's only temporary, and in eight days I'm going to go pick her up and we'll start our travels back together again. <laughs> Alright everybody, take care, safe travels. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with somebody. If you uh, dislike the video, give it a thumbs down and share it with somebody you don't like. And uh, we'll catch you next time. Bye.